Many of you have been asking how to remember things for work or exam. How can you strengthen your memory recall? Some of you even said that they struggle to remember simple passwords. Because I love you, I will share with you practical tips how to remember stuff, activate your brain memory triggers, and bust some myths or rumors along the way in the next two and a half minutes. Timer is on. Welcome back to creating your own new limitless world. And for the beautiful fresh faces, my name is Joe Isaac from Sydney, Australia. Your coach bringing you the best tips and tools to help you become the best version of yourself. If you want to know more about me, Google my name. So if you are new here, consider subscribing and activate the bell notification button to receive notifications for videos just like this one. Look, our memory these days is not getting good workout. Just because we rely on technology, we rely on reminders and we hardly use our memory muscle. So generally speaking, you need to practice more with the tips I will share with you in this video. This may not work for those people who are diagnosed with cognitive disorders or have Alzheimer's, etc. First myth, you must write things down to remember. That's the only way. Nope, that helps. However, at some point you may have come across something in writing and you ask yourself, Hmm, what was this about? What was this for? So it's not ideal because there are no emotions or triggers associated with it for you to remember. Second myth, you need to sit down to be able to focus and remember. Nope. If you stand, you increase the blood circulation, which enhances your powers. Also, if you put yourself in a steady state, that helps your cognitive abilities to rise up. Recent research found that when we write things down, our memory and retention goes up to 40%. If we share it with someone and engage some emotions, it rises up to 75%. If you are in happy state or positive state, your memory retention goes up to 90%. Hence why it explains why we remember things that we love. Even some favorite teachers quotes from back in the school days we still remember till today. If we apply this and put it into action, that's when the retention and the memory recall goes up to 100%. Great teachers and coaches nowadays use this model more often to help their audience with their retention and picking up new skills. Tip for you, if you want to remember stuff, Link it to a memory trigger, a place, a particular scent, an experience that you've had in the past to create that attachment. Another tip, try to create a picture or even a song with your own lyrics that help you remember that stuff that you want to remember. Another tip, to use your subconscious to help you remember stuff. Many people love this video on TikTok. Let's watch it together. Many people are struggling to remember things, be it for work or for studying. How can you ignite your brain memory? Try this, review what you want to remember in bed and go for a nap less than 45 minutes and wake up and it's in your brain. Now that we have shared some tips and busted some rumors along the way, how can you practice all of this? Say for example, you want to remember a password 10, 15, 20, 20, and you're not writing it down. Step one, share this with your partner. Hey hun, just wanted to let you know that I have changed the password door to this number. Step two, stand tall and stay positive when you are sharing that information with your partner. Step three, eliminate all distractions for the time of that share. Step four, go and apply punching this password in the door as you share it with your partner. Step five, create any memory trigger to link up those numbers somehow. For example, are there any patterns in that number that remind you of something that you can link it to? Say for instance, 2020 is a challenging year. The 15th is the day that you get paid and 10 is your partner's birth date, for example. Step six, where possible, does it form a shape if you draw it, for example? 27092, it forms a particular shape when you draw it. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and let me know if I can help you any further. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.